Meet the Australian politician that takes on our favourite Tongan, Joseph Tucker Lua. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Poly Planet. It's your boy B Brown reporting to you once again for another weekly video. Now, this week's video is all about everybody's favourite group of fobs from the hit TV series Summer Heights High. Australian comedian Chris Lilly is the creator of Summer Heights High, who also plays the hilarious character of the Tongan high school schoolboy Jonah Takalua. So if that's not if that's being disruptive, then fuck you. That's not disruptive. That's entertainment. I'm just getting the worksheet, Miss. Let me do some do work it for once. Quietly, thank you. I'm doing it quietly. There you go, homo. In this show, Jonah is a leader of his all fob all poly, all breakdancing crew who wreak havoc on their teachers and fellow students whilst being completely politically incorrect along the way. Over there, now. Fuck you, miss. Beg your pardon? I said fuck you, with a P. Now, Chris Lilly isn't a Polynesian himself, but he absolutely nails his role as this cheeky Tongan schoolboy growing up in Australia. I like what you're wearing, miss. Looks nice on you. Is that from Suzanne? You... Now it's unknown exactly where Chris Lilly gets his inspiration for this character, but the large Tongan and Polynesian communities in Sydney, Brisbane, and Melbourne may have something to do with it. Now Chris Lilly went on to tell the BBC in an interview, sometimes I think maybe I'm going to offend a certain type of person, like the Pacific Islander community might be offended. But I'm often complimented, and they like that they are being represented. Summer Heights High character Jonah Takalua became so popular with audiences, Lily decided to respawn the character of Jonah with its own standalone series, Jonah from Tonga. Try and pull us apart, you see. Nothing breaks. Oh, shit. I'm not a Takalua. Jonah from Tonga was an instant hit, drawing international attention whilst building a new global audience. I said, Pock, you miss. There's a difference between bullying him and joking around. It was joking around. Now this week a Summer Heights High video has gone viral yet again when an online video editor known as Ace Alderman cleverly edited each scene to include Australian Senator Pauline Hanson. Now if you've never heard of Pauline Hanson, don't worry. She's only world famous in Australia. Are you xenophobic? Please explain. Xenophobia means a fear of all things foreign. All you've got to know about Pauline Hanson is that she's known for saying a whole lot of racist shit against everybody. But redheads aren't a race, Jonah. But sir, there's heaps of them. In this hilarious video, you will see Pauline Hanson go head to head with your favourite Tongan, Joseph Takalua. Now before I go, special shout out to everyone who liked our videos and subscribed to our page. Now when we turned on our computers the next day and checked our YouTube figures, we were like... We could not believe the love that you guys were showing us. So then we were like... <laughs> Once again, thank you everybody. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to our page, and of course, please comment. I'm B Brown, signing out for Poly Planet. Hope you enjoy your video. See you next time, peace. I didn't fit in to mainstream schools, they hated me, and there just as much as I hated being there. They sat me behind a bookshelf in my classroom because they didn't know what to do with me and banned me from everything. How is it okay for you to bully? Because she's a ranger. A what? A ranger, sir. She's got red hair, a ranger yeah. tank. That's what we call her. And does that make it okay for him to be bullied because he has red hair? Well, people are racist to, to folks. us. See, to see we could be racist to, to rangers. But redheads aren't a race, Jonah. But sir, there's heaps of them. She's a racist bitch. She's always picking on us boys. Like if we come late, she always goes, Island, the boys are late. Like she just thinks that it's always us. But it's not always us. 
Criticism is not racism. Bullshit. Criticism is not racism. I have special teachers at times, but they don't stop people bullying you, and they don't stop you from fitting in. Sorry, Homer. No, Jonah, that's not acceptable. Try again. Sorry, Grandma.